Hi, and welcome to this video, how do I create a new Word report based on an existing Word template in Microsoft Dynamics NLE 2015. My name is Klaus Lostrom, MVP for Microsoft Dynamics NLE. This video was made in collaboration with Natal and Microsoft. At the end of this video, we will have seen how easy it is in Microsoft Dynamics NLE 2015 to use an online Word template when designing our Word reports. Microsoft Word supports the creation of great looking documents and it's often much easier to start with an existing Word template, for example from the community, than from scratch, and then tweak the dismissive design afterwards. The objective of this video is to show you how to find a template and apply this to a Word report. We will download and apply a Word template from inside Word 2013 and import this into our report. We will then use the XML mapping pane to add content controls to the template. We will add both fields and a repeating line from the dataset to the Word reports. Step number one, download the template. We will open Word 2013 and search for sales invoice. We will locate the Rust template and apply this to our report. And then we will save the document so we next step can import this into NME. So the first thing that we do is go to open Word and then in Word we're gonna search for the template. So we will search for sales invoices or sales invoice. Then hit enter, and then we uh, will look online to see if there's any invoices that we can use. We can see there's quite a lot. Uh, in this uh, demo here, we'll use the uh, sales invoice called uh, Rust Design. So I will select this, and then I will say Create. And uh, now I have my uh, template uh, report created. So I will save the report, and I will save this to the desktop. And let's just call this uh, the Rust Invoice. And save. And now I'm ready to go to the next step. Step number two, create new custom report layout. We will open the custom report layouts page. We will create new custom report layout based on the sales invoice report 1306. And then we will import the Rust invoice template and view the report with this new layout. So we're now in NAV 2015. And the first thing that we need to do is we need to go to the report layout selection page. So let's find this. So this is the report layout selection page. I will now go to and search for the uh, Report 1306. This is a new sales invoice report. I want to customize the layout and I will create a new uh, custom layout. I will select insert word layout and say okay. I explained this all in a previous video so I won't go into more details here. So let's give it a description here. So I'll just call this the Rust invoice report. And then if I run this report, well actually I'm not going to run it, I actually going to import the, uh, the layout first. So let's import the layout that we did. So import the layout and now I can run the report. And now I can see that the layout has now been applied to my report but of course all the fields that I have uh, in the report is not mapped to anything so this is the next step I need to do. Step number three, edit the template in Word. We will select edit layout in the custom report layout page. We will then insert the content control for example the company address and line item. We will expand the XML mapping pane found in the developer tab. In a previous video, I explained how to enable the developer tab, so I will not explain here how to enable this. To add the field, we need to right-click and select Insert Content Control, and then we'll choose Plain Text. For the line table, we will need to right-click and select Insert and select Insert Content Control, and then choose Repeating. So back in NAV 2015 again, we will select the Edit Layout, and now we'll wait for our Word to open up, so we can edit our report. We will go to the Developer tab, we'll go to the XML Mapping pane. The XML Mapping pane comes, becomes active out here. We will then select the right, the right custom XML part, so the URN Microsoft Dynamics NLV reports and the 1306 report, this is all I'm working on. We'll now take the header and then we will start adding some of the fields to our report. So we could, for example, take the, these fields that we have here and I could delete these. And now I could add in the company address. So if I want to add the company address, I need to right click and insert control and then plain text. So now that's here. Now I want to go to the next line. So company address, insert the content, uh, content control, select plain text and double click here, hit enter, next one. And then it is just uh, adding the uh, things that we need to have on our repo. Um, so I've added these three company addresses. Uh, I don't want to put more here of these, uh, but I could of course continue on that, but it's uh, the same thing uh, that I need to do. So let's uh, go and focus on the, the lines. So here for the lines, I will 
Uh, actually, delete all the, the lines here. So let's uh, select all the lines, not all the lines. Actually, the first I'll keep the first line. So delete these rows. So delete row, and now I have one line. So what's upon here then now? I go to the select out here, so I click out here to the left side here, and then I go to the uh, to the line in my XML part here. So I will find the line, and it's down here. What I need to do here on the line is that I need to insert a control control and then repeating. So now when I select this. Well, this it will be repeating from what I have in my data set. So if I now go to the quantity, so if I uh, expand the lines, and I want to put in the, for example, the, uh, the quantity line, so again, I said insert control, content control, and let's say plain text, and let's take, for example, the description also, and uh, then we'll just go find the description. Where are you? You're here. So insert content control, and then plain text. Uh, we could do the same for the line total. So let's take the line total, so that's the line amount line, insert content control, plain text, and then we could put in the total here. And let's find that. And the total is a little different because the totals are then passed over in the data set as well. So I need to have that total here and insert the content control and then plain text. So now I added the total. So I have uh, done uh, quite a lot of changes already, uh, but it's uh, very easy to do this in, in Word and find the, uh, the data set over here in the XML mapping. So this, uh, yeah, ready for next step. Step number four, import layout. So we have modified our report in Word, so it's time to import it back into NV and see our changes. When we have verified this, we will import a completed invoice report based on the Rust template to see that this is also a possibility. So we have completed our changes in Word, so let's close down Word and then we'll save. And then we get back to this page. I also explained this in a previous video, so what I'll just do it, I want to import the changes, so I'll say yes to this. And now I can run my report. So if I run my report and click PDF, I will see that the, the changes that I've done in Word are now, is now reflected. So I added the customer uh, company address one, the uh, address two, and number three. Uh, I didn't change any of these things here. And if I scroll down, I can see that my lines also now started working. I have my description, I have my uh, line amount, and I have my total also here. So that's uh, that was just some of the confused changes I did. But uh, what if we uh, close down this one here and we say import layout. So we cheated it and we take a Rust template that is completed and we import this one. So we say OK and then we run the report and then we say print and then PDF. We can see that this report has now been uh, completed uh, and this now has a nice uh, new Kronos logo. Uh, it has uh, all the uh, correct uh, things for the uh, Customer address, the ship to address, and the company address, and the phone number, and now it has a salesperson, and it also has the lines, the, the lines as we also saw before, and it has the uh, correct total and so forth. So this is uh, the complete report, and this is uh, give you an idea how how easy it is to to import this report into your NAV 2015. So to summarize, we first downloaded the Rust template in Word and saved this template to our desktop. We then created a new custom report layout based on the sales invoice 1306 and applied the Rust template. We then, we then added a few fields and made the line repeat in Word and then imported back the changes to NAV 2015 and printed the report. Finally, I imported a completed Rust template and we printed the report and you could use this report when sending out invoices, if you of course like the Rust template for your invoice reports. I hope you enjoyed this how to our video. I'm Klaus Lundstrom. MVP for Microsoft Dynamics NLV. Thanks for watching.